like my rest in peace with Casey Kasem video, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did when I made that. I don't know how to say this. Okay. Just give me a minute here. I'm sure you guys all remember Dickie Jones, who provided the voice of Pinocchio in 19, in, ni <coughs> in 1930, I, I don't know what year he recorded his, his voice for the movie, I don't know, but he was, he was 12 years old when he got the part for the character. And he died yesterday at the age of 87. The cause of death has been unconfirmed. And I, I just found out about this. As you can tell by my voice, I am really stressed out. I... I would like to read the article, the article about his death that I found to you guys, so, so you'll be able to hear what happened, I'll, I'll go and get it, just, just hold on a second, I gotta adjust the camera, okay, now I'm sure you guys will be able to see me better. Okay, it's, it's on latimes.com, and I'm, I'm, I would like to read it. I'll leave the link in the video description for it if you guys would like to see it, but right now I would like to read it to you. After Dick Jones, who got his most famous role in his long career when he was 10, and was chosen by Walt Disney to be the voice of Pinocchio, died Monday night according to Los Angeles County's coroner, coroner's office. He was 87 years old. Joan's wife called 911 when she found her husband collapsed at home in North Ridge, according to L Lieutenant Frank Corral of the Coroner's Investigation Division. Paramedics pronounced Jones dead at the scene. The cause of death has not been determined. Jones, who was known as Dickie, when he made the when he made Pinocchio, had appeared in nearly 40 films by the time he got the part in the 1940 animated feature. According to a Disney studio biography. At the time, Pinocchio was just a job, Jones said. Who knew it would turn out to be the classic that it is today? I count my lucky stars that I had a part in it. His other childhood roles including, included small parts in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Destry Rides Again, and Stella Dallas. Oops. Hold on, guys. Having a little problems with the page. He had later numerous parts in early television, television in shows such as The Lone Ranger, and he played the title role in the, in the 1955 Buffalo Bill Jr. series. In the late 1950s, he began a new career in real estate. And played only a few roles after that, but he did pop up a, 
pop up in series such as Wagon Train and the Blue Angels. So, so guys, that's it. But we we all can remember this wonderful, wonderful actor for what he did. I have never seen the other movies that he did, such as Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. I have never seen those movies, but but when I heard about this, my jaw was almost about to drop. I I thought I thought, I thought it couldn't possibly be true, but unfortunately it is, and that is all I have to say. Goodbye.